Okay, so we're heading into the game between Wales and Scotland this weekend and I put a poll up on my community page for all of you to participate and 73% uh, of you, let's have a look now, 73% of you said that Scotland were going to win this game against Wales. So not too many giving Wales an opportunity in this game. Let's see how that pans out anyway. G'day everyone and welcome to Inside Rugby. If you haven't been here before, my name's Mark. I'm a Kiwi rugby fan and I love making videos talking about our great game of rugby. And this one we're going to be talking about that game that's coming up this weekend between Wales and Scotland. Yes, going to be played in beautiful Cardiff at the Principality Stadium. And from what we know, the roof is going to be open and somehow Scotland has decided that's going to be the case. I'm not too sure how that works, but... Uh, Maybe you can let me know in the comments if you know how and who makes the decision on keeping the roof open or having it closed for these games. Now by the time we get to this third game this weekend we're going to find out uh, the results of the games between France and Ireland as well as the game against Italy and England. So Wales and Scotland in Cardiff, it's an interesting proposition isn't it? And uh, Wales haven't lost there for 21 years. But I think if there's a chance that they might lose this time, it's this particular year because we've got a very new and inexperienced Welsh side coming into this game. So in this video, I'm going to go through each of the teams and then I'm going to give you my prediction on what I think is going to happen in this game. OK, so let's start off by having a look at Wales. And first of all, they've got nine Cardiff players in this team and they've got five new caps. So uh, plenty of youth and inexperience coming in and Warren Gatlin is obviously you know building this team now and looking at the future particularly the 2027 Rugby World Cup in Australia so this is their first kick out and an opportunity for Gatlin to put a couple of new boys in there and see how they go under this kind of pressure it's going to be very interesting to see of course now perhaps the most notable absence for the Welsh team is George North who's played I think 114 caps for Wales and uh, he was looking forward to coming into yet another season in the Welsh team but he got a bit of a stinger in the uh, in a domestic game and it's really really kept him out it's a bit of a painful injury a stinger if you've ever had one uh, very painful in fact and uh, he won't be lining up this weekend so Wales go in without uh, George North in their team. Okay, let's have a look at Wales and starting off in their back line and we've got a young man called Cameron Winnett coming in at fullback and uh, he's only played 16 professional games of rugby and here he is lining up for Wales so a fantastic opportunity for him and Warren Gatlin's obviously throwing him in at the deep end and uh, see how he handles this type of situation and then on the wings for Wales we've got Rio Dyer and we've got Josh Adams and uh, two good wingers there Dyer can break open a game from anywhere on the field I really like Dyer I've spoken about him a lot in my videos when I talk about Wales and uh, he's going to be a potential game winner for Wales in this game. Then moving on into the centres, we've got Watkin and Tompkin for uh, Wales. Interesting combination there. Tompkin, of course, is a tried and tested player in that position. And we'll have to see how he goes against Scotland on the weekend. And then looking at 9 and 10 for Wales, we've got Gareth Davies in at halfback. And we've got Sam Costello or Costello. Let me know what is the current pronunciation of his name because I've heard so many different variations from even people in Wales so I'd be interested if you can tell me what the correct pronunciation of Sam is it Costello or Costello I'd really like to know so uh, we've got him in there as well and we saw him at the World Cup and I think Warren Gatlin's got a lot of belief in Costello because he can see a future with this guy he's a very hard-working guy and uh, Dan Beggar and others from the Welsh team who have since retired talk very highly of him as a leader and somebody who really has a good mature mind despite his age and uh, I think we're going to see a lot of him going forward so Warren Gatlin's putting a lot of faith in him and uh, we'll see whether he can really produce the goods at international level. We've seen him on a few occasions and he's had pretty good games that I've watched but um, he really needs to step up now with this young Welsh side and see whether he can 
help them kick on for their next era and generation. There's the backs that are going to run on for Wales against Scotland on Saturday. And then in the reserves on the backs, we've got Thomas Williams, we've got Lloyd, and we've got Grady coming on as well. So uh, in Thomas Williams, they've got a great utility play there, um, particularly halfback and he adds a lot to this Welsh team. So I think a pretty good backline given their inexperience. Um, we're just going to have to see how they go against the Scotland team, aren't we? Okay, moving on into the forwards now, and let's start off in the back row. And we've got Wainwright, Rafael, and Botham taking up the back row. And again, inexperience coming in here, but with Wainwright, they've got a tried and tested player. And uh, I think this is an area in the forwards in particular where Wales are going to get tested this weekend. Then if we have a look at their um, locks, they've got Beard and Jenkins. Jenkins, of course, is the captain. And uh, I think he's the second youngest captain ever to Captain Wales. So what, a, uh, what an honour for him th this weekend, leading out his uh, team for the first time. And then moving into the front row, we've got Brown, Elias and Domachowski. I think these guys are going to get a bit of a hard time from Scotland in the forwards. And uh, I think all across the park, actually, Wales are going to struggle in this one unless they can start off really, really well. I think just momentum in a game is such a big thing and building a bit of confidence, particularly in young guys. If they start off having a few mistakes or Scotland's pushing them around a bit, I think they might have some trouble. And then we have a look at the substitute forwards for Wales in this game. And we've got D, Matthias, Azarati and Teddy Williams and Mann things I'm looking forward to this weekend across all the games is having a look at the strength of the bench that's coming on for each of the game because it really does indicate the depth of squads that these teams have got this year so be particularly looking at this Welsh team and to see how their uh, their bench goes coming in against Scotland particularly if they're chasing the game going to be very interesting to see that okay so that's the Welsh team that's going to be trotting out against Scotland at the uh, Principality Stadium on Saturday Let's now have a look at the Scottish team. Now, like uh, Wales with George North, Scotland's also got a big name uh, admission from this team in the late uh, build up to the game. Blair Kinghorn did a knee in, uh, in training and uh, he's been sidelined for this game. The back three with Kinghorn out, we've got Rowe coming in at fullback, and then on the wings, we've got Stein and we've got Van der Verwe. And who can forget that amazing try by Duhan Van der Merwe? in the Six Nations, it was absolutely brilliant. Let's hope we see him on great form in this year's tournament. It's always a pleasure to watch him. This is for Scotland, we have Hugh Jones and Tupelotu coming in. And uh, these two are great. I really like this combination in the midfield for Scotland. Great in defense, but also they offer something unique in attack. And I think Hugh Jones has the potential to break this game open for Scotland. If they get enough ball out to him, um, I think that will be a really, really good play for Scotland. And then coming inside, we've got Finn Russell, of course, playing at number 10. The leadership of Finn Russell is critical, as we all know, to the Scottish team. And uh, I think he's going to have a great game this weekend. And I think he's going to have a great tournament, actually, this series. And then at halfback, we've got White. So White and Russell combination. We're used to seeing that going around. And these two guys know pretty much how to get the Scottish, Scottish team around the pitch. It's all going to come down to what strategy they play, I think, on Saturday. On to the forwards for Scotland. And looking at the back three, we've got Matt Fagerson, Richie and Crosby. Good back three. And I think these guys are going to do a job on Wales as far as getting ball in the breakdown and playing the game at pace. I think these guys can go in and start to dominate Wales in this area. And uh, I think Matt Fagerson in particular is very, very good, as well as Richie as well. So, yeah, I think Scotland are going to have the upper hand when it comes to the back three in this game. And then looking at the locks, we've got Cummings and Richie Gray. Two good locks there. Again, ball retention and getting ball at set piece is going to be important in this game. And I think these two guys are going to be able to do the job. Moving on to the front row, and we've got uh, uh, Fagerson, Turner and Schoeman. And uh, I think this is a really good front row as well. I think the Scottish front row is going to have it over the Welsh. And what I like about the Scottish front row is they're very good around open play as well and expect them to do a lot of um, disruption when it comes to the Welsh trying to get some structure into their play. I think these three guys can, will be found at bottoms of ruck and clearing out ball in different set pieces as well. And then let's have a look at how the substitutes line up for Scotland in this game. We've got Ashman, Hepburn, Miller-Wills, Skinner, Dempsey, 
and then Horn, Redpath and Healy. So that's the full Scottish lineup going into this game. Okay, so what do I think is going to happen in this game? Well, I think Scotland's going to win first of all. So after 22 years, 11 attempts at Cardiff, they're finally going to be able to bring this one off. And I think it's going to come down to their experienced lineup and just some of the talent they've got in this team. Across the backs, Scotland look too good, I think, for this Welsh team. And I think the Welsh youth, whilst they might be invigorated and have a lot of energy in the first 20 minutes or so, I think the Scottish structure and ability with their experience is going to play through in the end of this game and I expect Scotland to come out winners. I think Finn Russell is going to dominate the game in terms of his game management of the game and I think we're going to see the likes of Duhan van der Merwe staying on the wing and uh, particularly Jones and Tupeloto having a big say in the outcome of this game. I just expect those Scotland backs to be able to do something in the game and that's based on the Scottish forwards being able to control the ball and the set pieces and also be in there and getting the ball out in the rucks as well and I think that's going to be really really critical for this game. Goal, cook, goal kicking I put it down 50-50 as far as that goes but I think the Scottish have got more potential to score tries in this game but you know what you can never write off a youthful team that's got a lot of inexperience and but they've got a lot of energy and passion so I'm sure Warren Gatlin's going to get these boys up for this game there's no doubt about it he's one of the best motivators in the game and he can just seem to do something with young players and actually give them some self-belief. So if he's able to install that, who knows? Wales might be able to pull it off. But I'm putting my uh, emphasis on this game on Scotland. I think they're going to be too good for Wales. And I'm going to give them at least a 10-point win in this game. So there we go. We've got a cracker of a weekend coming up with Six Nations competition kicking off. A lot of really interesting games. A lot of possibilities actually this weekend. There could be some red faces going around in terms of some of these predictions, but we'll just have to wait and see. Don't forget, if you like my channel and you like the content I'm producing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a bit of a thumbs up. It helps all that algorithm with YouTube and all the rest of it. But most importantly, I love reading your comments. So drop your comments about what you think is going to happen, who you think the standout players are going to be in this game between Wales and Scotland. I'd really like to hear if... There's someone there that I maybe haven't mentioned too much of in this video. I'm going to be back again really soon with an in-depth analysis of each of the games this weekend. So make sure you come back for that. And until then, it's time to say farewell from beautiful Mexico. Stay well, stay safe everyone, and goodbye for now.